Honestly, guys, I am just absolutely blown away by this stuff, and it is gonna be my secret go-to. Hey, what's up guys, it's Josh here. Today I wanna to do a little re-review on this vintage batch of Abercrombie & Fitch Fierce from 2005. Now, apparently this is a like limited edition bottle because normally it's just the guy's abs. I haven't really touched this stuff in a while. To test it, I killed like almost half of the bottle and this is gonna be like 150, maybe $200 bottle right now, you know, if you're buying it used online. But if you're looking for, in my opinion, the best version of Fierce right now that you could possibly buy, by Dua's Vintage Fierce, absolutely phenomenal. Much more projection than this, almost exactly the same kind of smell, much more full. I'm just so, so impressed by it. Don't worry about it being only one ounce because it's absolutely nuclear. I flew through my bottle of Dua's Fierce right away. I loved it. I'm almost done with my Dua Fierce Atar. I really like it, but I'm just saving the bottle. Same with my Dua's Fierce Supernova. I'm saying that to say that's kind of what I've been using as Fierce. I've been kind of trying to save this. If I'm spraying this up a lot, I'm gonna fly through it. I have used this probably about four, five, six times recently, and I don't get any off-putting vibes whatsoever, which is really weird because maybe about four years ago or so, I bought these and it was kind of hard to describe. Like sometimes you'd spray it and it would smell off-putting and other times it would kind of smell good. Uh, sometimes it would be faint, sometimes it would be strong. When I did wear this for a full week, I got three unsolicited comments within a week. And to me, that's fantastic. I probably average about like one a month. So it's just an absolute powerhouse. Of the four to five times that I've worn this, I've gotten at least two really, really big notices. The story that made me want to shoot this video is I'm having some car shovels right now. A buddy of mine came over to visit. We we're driving around doing some stuff, hitting up the community pool, things like that. So initially, when I went to go hang out with him, I sprayed up a bunch. He, he commented when I got in the car, asked what it was. We talked about it as being fierce and we must have been out. It had to have been three, four, five hours. So then we ended up going to the community pool. It was like a big, huge spa. So we're at like opposite ends of the corner in the spa. Like he's over here and then a girl gets in. We're just hanging out there and it's been like four or five hours and she comments on the cologne like dang what are you guys wearing which one of you guys is smelling so good and I completely forgot that I even had cologne on this is kind of like a weaker batch or it's so old I wouldn't expect it to really last like maybe on clothes maybe if I hugged somebody five six hours they'd smell it but I didn't expect it to smell off maybe my head or my hair or maybe my clothes off to the side she was like on the opposite side probably about eight feet away when I really want to impress somebody this is what I'm gonna be wearing 100% of the time. It's absolutely blown me away. And in my other reviews, it has this off-putting vibe that I don't really get here. I don't really get this at all. I don't know if it's because it's settled. I have no idea what it is, but of the entire time that I've used this, I've gotten no off-putting vibe and actually projects quite a bit. Four or five hours later, I go into the spa. Somehow somebody could smell me across the spa. So I ended up starting a conversation for like an hour after that. So it's a conversation starter as well. I did have to break her heart and let her know that it was the 2000 five vintage version you can't get again. If I had to pick between this and Dua's Fierce, it's so difficult. Dua's Fierce also gets lots of compliments. Dua's Fierce is much more nuclear than this, but then I also have such good compliments with this. This one's so rare, it's so hard to say. If I had access to both unlimited supplies, I'd probably pick Dua, but because of this situation, because of these compliments that I've been getting and because nobody could go buy this and I have what you can't buy, I am really liking this 2005 vintage Abercrombie and Fitch fierce so anyways guys let me know what you're wearing right now for your fierce kick i'd be very interested to see we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers and i could not do it without any of you guys help you guys are the best I'm having a great day out here hopefully having a great day at home see you all in the next video peace